How's it going guys? Welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV and there is absolutely no rest for the Gunners at the moment. We've got another massive game this weekend at home to Sunderland in the Barclays Premier League. Now given who we've been playing in recent weeks with the likes of Liverpool and Bayern Munich, this is a little bit of respite for Arsenal. But Sunderland, they're a team that we really shouldn't underestimate. Under Gus Poyer, this guy, he's done such a fantastic job at Sunderland, I can't even comprehend quite how well he's doing. Um, he's kind of got them out of this relegation battle, although admittedly they are still in there, they're not that far off the drop zone, but he's got on them from kind of bottom to the, of the Premier League, out of the drop zone, he's got them to the final of the Capital One Cup, which will be playing next week against Man City, and he's just doing a fantastic job, he's um, brought a load of players to life, Manone, um, the ex-Gunner, returning to Arsenal, that's going to be absolutely amazing to see, and to be honest, I'm really glad for Manone, I'm, I'm glad that Poy has given him a chance, he's playing some quality football um, for Sunderland, Proven to be a good keeper, and he wasn't going to get any time at Arsenal ahead of the likes of Fabianski and Chesney. But at Sunderland, he's thriving off all the game time and the faith that Poy has put in him, and he's uh, kind of been at the heart of getting them out of this relegation battle and um, getting them to the final of the Capital One Cup. And um, he's, we're also seeing the best to have Adam Johnson as well at Sunderland, who's you know he's going to, it's going to be something unique for our team to defend against. I mean, it shouldn't be anything that we can't handle, but he's got pace, agility, skill, a very good shot on him, and he's going to be very hard to defend against. Um, but Sunderland, I'm not really sure if they're going to prioritise this game or their game in the Capital One Cup next week. I would have, I would expect them to play a strong lineup. I think they'll be very pleased just to get a point out of this game, considering where they are in the league. A point would be absolutely massive to them. Um, but I think they might want to go out and try and get something in the Capital One Cup final after all their hard work and effort they've put trying to get there. But it's going to be really interesting. I think they're not. I don't think they're going to park the bus in any respects in this game. I think they're going to play some nice, attacking, open football, try and score a few goals. And up top, um, that's where they're a bit light, I think. They're without Stephen Fletcher for this game, which is going to be a huge loss for them. Uh, and I don't think Jose Altidore is the greatest of players. I think he's very lightweight. His goal-scoring record for, for Sunderland says it all, really. Um, but he's a big guy, and he will be hard to try and get off the ball uh, because he will be able to muscle our defenders off it. Um, you wouldn't think easily, but... Uh, he is quite, going to be quite tough to defend against, but he just can't finish, which is uh, his problem. Uh, or they're going to play Barini, who I think is a quality player. He's going to be hard to defend against. Not the biggest of guys, but he's got a good finish on, on him. He's quite pacey and he's very agile, so he'll be hard to defend against. But again, it should be nothing that sh Arsenal shouldn't be able to handle, and it should be a straightforward three points. I mean, as good as Sunderland are at home with our defensive record, the, I, thought, I think if we play the same way we did at the start of that Bayern game and all the fans get behind the team... No reason why we shouldn't be uh, winning this one. A loss or a draw would just be absolutely devastating. It would be another massive blow in this um, title push. And, you know, if we're pushing for the title, games like this should be brushed aside and it should be a straightforward three points. So looking at Arsenal, I mean, we've got Arteta back in the squad, which is a massive boost. We're without Kieran Gibbs, which admittedly is going to be a massive loss where we've got Monreal defending against Adam Johnson. So Monreal going to be, have to be at the peak of his powers for this one. Um... I'll get straight into the lineup, and I'm going to go with Chesney in goal, Sanya right back, Mertzaka, Koscielny, Monreal, Arteta, Wilshere, Nabry, Rosicki, Podolski, and Sonogu. Now, Sonogu, he, he's a player that's been playing exceptionally well recently, and I think for him to get a cup game, a Champions League game, and a Premier League game under his belt in the space of a week, although it might be quite tiring for him, it's going to be an excellent experience for him. And uh, whilst he's playing well, then there's no reason why he should be dropped, although... Uh, realistically, I think Giroud might actually start the game um, considering Sonogo is still fairly young and he's injury prone. I think uh, it would be expected of us to rest him. And Giroud, I think if he comes on, like I said the, uh, in, a, in another video, it can go, go over two, what, what, uh, one or two ways with him. He can even put in a really good performance, fight for his spot, score a goal and uh, be a really good player, um, hopefully for the rest of the season. Or, you know, this whole thing that's going on in his personal life could be um, have a massive effect on his game and he could put in a really poor performance. So I'm hoping it will be the first one there and I'm hoping he's going to put in a good performance if he does play. But nevertheless, who does play, I'm going to be supporting him all the way. And I have left Urza out of the team, not because I'm dropping him. I think he deserves a rest because, you know, I think he looked a little bit fatigued in that Bayern game. He's been playing an awful lot of games for us recently. Rosicki, quality player to bring in. Uh, Kazola, another player that I think needs a rest. I want to see Podolski on the right hand, um, left hand side, should I say. Nabry on the right hand side. We've got a couple of important games coming up this month, so I think we need all of our best players at the peak of their powers. And that was a really exhausting game against Bayern, so maybe um, rotate the squad. I'm hoping we'll see a lot of rotation within the team. As long as we keep a fairly solid back four, I'm relatively happy with whatever side goes out there. 
Score prediction wise, I'm going to go with a 2 0 win to Arsenal. I think it's going to be a really open game. Um, and I think, you know, it is going to be harder to bet against Sunderland at times. But, uh, I've, like I said, I, I actually really hope Sunderland do well in that um, Capital One Cup final next week. And they've got all my respects. And I wish them all the best in that game. Anyway, we've got to be having a beating of them um, this Saturday. Like I said, my prediction is 2 0. Leave your score prediction in the comments box below. If you have enjoyed the video, it'd be great if you click the like button. Subscribe for more videos. As always, thank you for watching, guys.